Hello and welcome, it's Debs here, welcome to my channel. I want to talk to you today about a really simple truth that was an absolute game changer for me. So I'm going to put a bit of context on it before I share this truth because simply sharing it, it might not make sense. We as human beings are thinkers. We have a constant narration for the most part going on inside our mind and we have thoughts and judgments about everything, all sorts of things and everything. I know that's true of me and my clients and other people that I speak about share that they have the same experience. <laughs> we have this voice in our head which has an opinion, a judgment, an idea, um, a commentary on pretty much everything. So we as human beings are thinkers and we feel what we think. We don't always know, they're, they're like thoughts and feelings are like two sides of a coin. We don't necessarily always know the thought behind every feeling, but we can really, it doesn't take much to really see the connection between thought and feelings. If we are thinking in a certain way, we feel a certain way. If we start to think differently, we feel differently. So it, they hugely impact each other. The what you know, what we are thinking hugely impacts what we are feeling. So, this game changing, this this really simple game changing thing, is. Somebody told me I I follow Sydney Banks, the Three Principles, amongst other spiritual teachings, and one of the things that Sydney Banks said, or I heard Sydney Banks say, was, "You don't have to think that." It's also a huge part of the teachings of Byron Katie, where she, where she helps you through doing the work, question every thought you have. So this commentary, these ideas that you have, these things that look really, really true inside your mind, you don't have to think that. And that just coming up in my mind when these things happen, it is literally a game changer. When you are thinking something and believing that thought to be true, because an extension of that is to realize that just because a thought is in your head, that doesn't make it true. It doesn't mean you have to act upon it. It doesn't mean you have to believe it. It doesn't mean it's the only thought available. And all of these things are an extension of this idea you don't have to think that. And this is where free will comes in. When you think about, as human beings, this idea, do we have free will or don't we? To me, the answer is we have the free will to choose whether we follow a thought or not. That commentary, those thoughts, those things, I feel like I am being thought. <laughs> I feel like that happens to me. But what I see is, once I knew, once I understood and played with and saw the truth in, you don't have to think that, that was where my freedom came from. That was where my free will kicked in. It's like I would have a thought and then realize, remember, I don't have to think that. I don't have to believe that. I don't have to take action from that. That isn't, does not have to be who I am and who I believe myself to be. And so this tiny little, you don't have to believe that, got bigger and bigger and bigger within me and impacted every area of my life. Now, many, many times we talk about, you know, our past maybe, things that have gone on in our past and how those things can come up in a present moment. I have definitely had that experience where something from the past I've had the thought about it, a fearful thought about it in, in the present moment and that thought looks really real and then I go into anxiety or fear and I act as if this thing, whatever it is, is, is true and real. And what I see from this tiny little, you don't have to think that, is I get to choose. I get to decide whether I continue giving this thought that I'm having life. We are consciousness, we are aspects of the divine, 
And it is our consciousness, our thinking into something that brings it to life and makes it real in our world. When we take our consciousness, our attention, our um, when we don't think that anymore, when we move away from it and look somewhere else, think somewhere else, put our attention somewhere else, this thing that we are thinking about disappears, dissipates, isn't there anymore, doesn't exist for us anymore. So it's hugely powerful to have the realisation you don't have to think that and begin to see that what you are thinking is your choice. Even when someone tells you you have to do something or you have to think a certain way or you have to be a certain way, you get to choose whether you agree with that or not, whether you're going to think that way, whether you're going to do that thing. And I really, really, really can't tell you how huge it is to implement this in your life, this, this knowing that you don't have to think that. Because absolutely, you know, in, in every aspect of our lives, if something, I make videos, and I know I talk about the idea of whether I'm going to make the video or not in that moment, what happens in my thinking sometimes. But I mean, it's a great example that I maybe press go on the, on, to make the video, and then a thought could arise in me, you know, this isn't right, you're not doing it right, you've mumbled, just then I lost my words for a moment and I mumbled, and the thought, you know, stop the video, start again, do it better, you're not good enough, all sorts of thinking like that can arise. And also, the, the knowing that I don't have to think that. Because what I see in these videos is when I follow that thought, if I have the thought that I'm not making this video well enough, it's not good enough, people won't understand, you won't have the impact that you want to have, you won't change people's lives in the way that you want to. When I have that thought and follow that train of thought, I lose myself and can't continue with the video. When I realise that I don't have to think that, I can think something different. I can think about, even as I'm talking here, I'm making this video, I can think about my commitment and my passion about making life-changing videos, creating my YouTube channel as a huge resource that people can come to, to see something simple and easy for themselves that can be life-changing. Because my own personal experience of being in a very abusive relationship, I can see that that stemmed from the thoughts I believed, that I believed that I had to believe, that I actually didn't even see as thought. But what I see, well, once we have this, this tiny little thing, you don't have to think that, as we stop thinking these things that have kept us small, that have trapped us, that we have believed into, a knock-on, a, a, a most amazing, miraculous knock-on effect is we begin to see more and more of the thinking that has kept us trapped and small. For example, years ago when I used to make videos, if I had the thought that you're not good enough, that just looked like a reality, it just looked true. So I would just turn it off and not do it. And then my passion and my idea to, to change the world through making life-changing videos just wasn't happening. When I realised that I don't have to think that, everything changed. What I was able to do, my capabilities, I could follow my passion when I realised that I don't have to think that. And just knowing that opens us up. It opens our hearts, it opens our connection to the divinity that we are and allows new thought to come in. Because one of the things that blocks us having new thoughts, having new ideas, seeing ourselves and other people and the world differently is this idea that we know. And if we have a thought that tells us that we are not good enough and we give our attention to it and believe it, we are in effect choosing to know that we are not good enough, that this is a truth. And so we create that as our reality. And yet when this tiny little thought, you don't have to think that, when we know that, when that is something that we live by, we don't have to buy into that. And what the possibility, the infinite possibilities that can open up for us from simply knowing 
We don't have to think that. I don't have to think that in this moment if I don't want to. So I am gonna invite you today to play with this because one of the things that I also see is these things take practice. If we hear these things and we nod and smile and say, yeah, that's a great idea, I, I like that, and then don't do anything with it, if we hear the word and then don't take action on the word, nothing changes. So commit within yourself to take an action on this, to notice, to, to look, to take some time and look. What thoughts are you thinking that are keeping you small, that you could see and think, I don't have to think that, and open yourself up to other possibilities. Play with it, do it, because taking action, taking these kinds of actions, that's where the game changes. That's where real results start to happen. So I'm going to invite you to do that. And I would really, really love you to comment and share below what you are getting from these videos, because that is so helpful for me to know where to go next. I love you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. If you do want to connect with me more, in the show notes below are ways to sign up to my mailing list and other ways that you can get more of me in your life. Have a great day, take care, love you guys.